Hello, I'm going to give you a quick tour of our 2006-2007 Cabernet and Stratus. Uh, this is the last year that they made them, I believe, in cotton before they moved to acrylic. And uh, we have two different setups for ours. The one you're going to see now is what we use when the weather's hotter, really, because as standard, the Stratus came with an awning. But the awning in the sun can get pretty hot. We use it typically in the south of France or Spain, and uh, it's just baking inside. So let me give you a quick tour of the Stratus generally and how we use it in the summer months. So we're starting off with the rear view of the Stratus. Now we'll move around and move inside. And what you can see around here is two things. You've got a large central window, uh, which goes straight through to the front there. And at the moment it's set to fly mesh only so no mosquitoes and things can get through. Up here is a rain curtain, so if it is raining or anything you can put that down and keep it dry or to help keep it warmer at night. And on the inside this uh, blue cover, blue colour here is a, cur a curtain that zips right up and covers everything. The other thing that you notice around here is most of these stratuses have this box which is truly massive. Uh, I don't know how many litres it is but um, you know you can get a lot of things in there. So if we move around the side, what you can see here is uh, a window, that's, it's, pure, it's not a window as such, it's just for aeration, it's a fly mesh here, it zips down the side, and you can open this and peg it out using these hoops uh, to help you get more air in there if it's uh, particularly hot at night. So, if we go inside the main cabin, what you see over there is the inside view of the outside ventilation window that I just mentioned. And in here, you don't do anything with it, it's just a fly mesh. You've got the same thing at the front of the sleeping compartment as well. Which if we come outside, you can see there, there's just a window uh, which rolls up, rolls down, as you wish. So anyhow, back to the main cabin. Um, what you've got when you get into the Stratus is you've got a double bed on each side and um, they're listed as 210 centimeters long by 145 wide. We uh, put um, a 140 wide blow up mattress on top of the cushions that come with it. It's not a, a thick mattress, it's quite a, a thin profile one you can see here, and that makes it uh, really, you know, quite comfortable. And each side have these curtains that come down and zip up here. So you're fully protected from mosquitoes and it gives people a bit of privacy on, on each side. Normally at the, the top up here, there's a kind of a curtain that hangs between the two sides. We've got it, we don't bother to use it. It's purely aesthetic. And uh, to be honest, the design is pretty dated. So um, it's not, not something we really miss. Now storage wise inside, what you'll find there's a couple of drawers uh, which you can put you know, a fair few bits and pieces in. And then all of these, all of this whole side here on both sides is a locker um, which has an opening, four openings. And uh, so two on each side. And again, you can store an awful lot in there. Now, when we're traveling, what we also do for um, traveling to a location is we, in fact, pack the floor here with um, typically furniture that we might be using while we're camping, anything that fits in there. You can't go you know, above this level and then the beds fold over on top of it. Um, but it is extremely useful extra storage. Some people, I think, leave their beds made up. We don't tend to. Um, we deflate the mattress and pack it all away in the car. So as with most trailer tents, what you've also got is um, at each side here, you can see uh, zips that go around and they hide in there a sleeping pod. So that's the pod. Um, I won't go inside it because it's completely messy, being one of my kids. We put inside those a 70 centimeter wide mattress. Um, you could fit a 120, but 70 works well and gives a bit of space to put some bits and pieces down there as well. So all of the builders are double. Realistically, they're just a good size single. Underneath um, this section here is actually where you'll find uh, 
the spare wheel. So there's a spare wheel up under there. And it's also where we, when we're camping, we store the um, number plate board that comes off the back. So back to the sun canopies that we use. Um, I mentioned we've got two sun canopies here. They attach in just the same way as the awning, um, in that they zip on. So if we move up here, under here is a zip that it just attaches to, which is exactly where you'd, you'd um, zip on the awning if you had that. And um, this first sun canopy is uh, 2.3 meters long, um, which gives us pretty good shade. So what we also do then though, we add the extra sun canopy on, which gives us another 1.3 meters. So we've got 2.6 meters of overhang here for shade, uh, lots of ventilation. In the evenings, if it starts to get a little bit nippy, then it's still more protected under there. And we move the table and chairs under there just for some extra, little extra warmth. Um, but typically where we're using it in the south of France, and um, we don't do that too much, but you can. The uh, the closest canopy here, the sort of um, greyish one, you can actually also zip onto the front of the awning if you choose to use the awning. And what we've got here, there's quite a lot of sort of plastic going on, and that's because we've got an extra zip in the middle here to convert it such that it will attach to this sun canopy. If you're just attaching it to the main awning, you don't need this extra converter, um, but in this particular configuration, you do. So there we have the overview of our summer setup with our Cabin and Stratus trailer tent. It's taken us a season or two to get to this point, but now for our family in the locations we camp in, where it tends to be reasonably warm um, for the duration of our trip, we found what we believe to be the perfect trailer tent setup for the summer, where we don't use an awning because it's simply too hot, and we use instead two sun canopies to give us uh, an extensive area of shade. We also, in fact, put a tarpaulin up beside the tent to cover the table and chairs. But it means under cover, with the sun canopies, we have 3.6 meters of shade, which is enough to store a couple of units, the fridge, and to get all the tables and chairs underneath should we wish to. It's worth saying that on our camping trips, we camp with three children, two adults and a dog. And our camping is predominantly in France, in the south, and sometimes in Spain. Hence why for us, having a setup that works very well in the sunshine is super important. And we are very pleased now with what, our, what we regard as our perfect summer camping setup with our trailer tent. If you're interested in more videos about what we get up to in France, please click the subscribe button below. And uh, also remember to click the notifications icon to ensure that you get updated every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.